What is going on guys? Today we are looking at 86 UCL Guy Man of the Match. The final of the uh, Man of the Matches that we're going to be reviewing today. We do have, I believe, an Inzaghi review later on today and hopefully some sort of content because at the minute... It's just absolutely dire. We're all waiting for Team of the Season, which obviously starts next week. So get your vote in for Community Team of the Season. And we'll go from there with that, really. We're going to be absolutely slapping all of the Team of the Seasons that we can get our hands on. But without further ado, we've got Guy here at 86. It's his first special of the year. Last year, we got a shapeshifter center back at 87. We had a road to the final that eventually went up to a 92 CDM, and we also had a 93 CM. Um, so that was pretty decent. A nice little year for him. Obviously, nothing too fantastic in terms of informs. And I think, well, he's had a couple of informs through the years. We've got a man of the match, an inform, a foot is another inform. So he's kind of a bit... He doesn't really get that many in form. So to get one at 86 is quite nice. Whether he gets team of the season again, I don't know. PSG obviously having a pretty good hand in, in the whole team of the season. So it's always interesting to see as last year it proved that he didn't need an in form to get in that team of the season. Uh, but this year could be different. Trait wise, we've got absolutely a zilch. He is a free star, free star, but he is more defensive. So we are looking at more that shadow. If anything, it will give him 83 pace with 84 acceleration an 83 sprint speed, but it will give him 94 defending. So, may not be the quickest CDM in the world. Um, he's standing at, what, 5'9", so he should be able to kind of move quite nicely. 83 on the agility balance, which is always nice. Great stamina. Aggression's good. Obviously, we've got good reactions and composure, which is always nice. And the short pass is semi-decent. So, it's a nice card. It, it's not awful. Again, it might not be everybody's cup of tea. It does go into the Senegalese um, squad. Um, I don't think there's many midfielders really in there. Um, I know we've got Mane, Diate. We've got Koulibaly, uh, Nian, the striker from Metz. We then also have Sane from Schalke, um, a right mid from another French team, Saar, and that is about it in terms of the special variety. So he is kind of one in its own. If you would like a Senegalese team, again, Again, it's always nice to build loads of different random teams, in my opinion. And that's why I like these sorts of cards, because they add that little bit of a balance, if you did want to. And I wish EA would do more of kind of like a nation builder. I know that if you, for instance, you put a Senegalese team as a requirement, that then obviously does um, increase the market. So that's kind of why. And obviously, people then can make even more coins doing that. But hey-ho, it's just, it's just a theory with it. Obviously, in terms of this card, um, he is coming in at about 36. Six, I think I got him for. I think he's just over at the moment, but more than likely he's fluctuating throughout the day. And again, maybe fodder, but still can definitely play. So let's just jump into him, see what Guy can do. Into Guy to see it out. What can we find? I think we're going to find the wing. Lovely little ball. Defender does help him get that pass to make it look a little bit better. Guy with a tackle and gets the free kick from him trying to tackle me back. Guy picking it up on the corner. Gets rid of it into Mane. Guy watching Delhi. Gonna go back into him. No. Into Guy. He's going to push it forward. See that pass in there. Oh, that's a sensational ball into Vinicius. Guy chasing Richarlson. We've got Son coming down the wing. We're going to switch to Larm. Get yeah, that little touch in there. Guy doing not too bad, to be honest. He's not been like heavily involved in a lot of the tackling, but he seems relatively decent on the ball um, in terms of kind of passing it out. The, the standard stuff that you find from mainly a kind of DM anyway. Guy making that interception. Manages to get it out over Richarlson as well. Guy with a challenge and a half into Guy. He's got a lovely passing out wide. Finds it into Vinicius on the wing. What can we find? A couple of step overs. It didn't push out the way I wanted it to. Went straight into Gomez. Guy with a challenge and half there. Lovely stuff. Guy coming in for that interception. Like I say, he's not going to be everybody's cup of tea just because he is quite a low rated. But in terms of like a league own player and, and all of that good stuff, you could probably find some use for him. Like I say, a Senegalese team would actually be quite beneficial for him. As Vinicius just pops one in out of nowhere. Guy, again, with a tackle, does manage to uh, give him a little bit of a foul, but still gets the ball back. Obviously, then tries to ruffle a few feathers. Aggression is looking on point. A team of the season version of him wouldn't actually be awful, but 
again, like I say, it's, it depends on who you've got in your team. If you've got this 10, 20 million um, coin team, then yeah, of course, this guy is not going to even bother. But if you're starting on day one, like a 30k player at 86 is actually not awful. Gets a special card into your squad as well. That's always the beneficial kind of side of it is if you just want like maybe a rainbow team, maybe you want all specials, league gun, then at least this can add to it quite cheaply. As we find him. Can we find Cantona going down the middle? It's a lovely pass from him. Going to try and chip the keeper on his line. And Cantona has done so. Lovely ball through. And Cantona says, thank you. Guy with a tackle. Doesn't win the ball back. But it sets up for Lam to win it back. Going down a wing with him. Can we find a bit of Mane? He's moved his run. So not as efficient. Guy with interception again. He's absolutely on fire this game. Really putting in a number already in the first 20 into Guy. It's a cracking ball out wide. So going into the overall for Guy. He is an 86 CDM that, to be honest, he is an all right player. And I'm thinking more along the lines of... Just like a, a cheap squad builder of anything. He's not going to be in your top team. He's not going to be in foot champs. That That's a given. But in terms of players like this, you've always got to remember that not everybody has millions upon millions of coins. Some people don't have 100,000 coins. And this guy could provide a special version for them players. Someone who's very casual on the game, doesn't play it too much. Obviously, if we are comparing him to all of the midfielders we have in Liga and currently, obviously, if we're looking at kind of like the mid-tier sort of thing, obviously, Millet cracking cam for absolutely zero value um obviously this guy was a sbc so i don't know the price of him but you've got like the likes of renato sanchez i'd be looking at obviously a lot of people did his for birthday which is always nice but 200k for an 84 still a cracking card nonetheless even if you went at like even cheaper than that went for the 31,000 coin 82 you can get him linked up there as two nice dms could get Malet as a obviously a zero cam um then you've got marquinhos who is one of my favorite cdm in terms of that position and actually that version of the card. If I was to go and pick out this mid midfield, I'd go Kamenvinger, I'd go Auer, and I would then go, because they're my two CM CDMs. Uh, well, actually, no, because Auer is more of a Cam now, isn't he? I'm thinking then, yeah, we'll go Kamenvinger as a, as a kind of like CM DM, Auer as a Cam, and then we'll go with Marquinhos as a DM. They're the top, in my opinion. Then we go further down. Fabregas, not as much. Guy, again, with a shadow, doesn't look awful. But in comparison to a lot of them, yes, he is he is under their, under their budget, really. But again, he is half the value or three times the, the value less than, obviously, a lot of them. So you always got that to consider. Like I said, in terms of a Sen Senegalese team, you have got a few decent specials coming out now. A nice little variety. Got a little bit of a rainbow coming. We've got Team of the Year nominees. We've got Road to the Finals, What Ifs, Man of the Matches, Freeze, Player of the Month again. Obviously, then we do also have this storyline. So it's not a bad little team. Team that you can start putting together again it, it's not for everybody and that, that's what i'm trying to say i do these reviews as literally we have zero players out so trying a few of the lower rated why not sometimes you find gems that way but overall obviously he wasn't going to get into many foot champs teams he's going to be managerial masterpiece he's going to be funny squad builders random squad builders senegalese psg team that's all he's pretty much going to be involved in but overall-wise, I'm going to give him a solid 7.5 out of 10. He's got good tackling. Pace is okay. Not amazing, but okay. Passing's decent-ish. It's about average. Average. Obviously, stamina's cracking. Uh, and then, realistically... That's about it. There's nothing really too much to say on the card. Let me know down below if you've got... Any of these Man of the Matches. Apart from that, like, subscribe. Peace.